we also wanted to look at the fundamental biology of the prostate, and that's really what this was the study was designed for. So the prostate biopsy is taken here, and these are what these little cores actually look like. They were then harvested first for chemical study uh, of the uh, hormones, testosterone and dihydrotestosterone. They were harvested for detailed microscopic evaluation and also for changes in gene expression. Gene is the fundamental unit of biology, and our theory was that if no change in gene expression was present, then certainly uh, we must not be affecting the tissues. Placebo men are in uh, the white boxes, and the active or testosterone-treated men in the gray boxes. First baseline, and then the six-month level uh, testosterone shown here, and dihydrotestosterone shown here. And the first thing noted is that in serum, these are all serum now, uh, there was a expected increase to the mid-normal range for serum testosterone levels, and dihydrotestosterone also increases a statistically significant uh, fashion. However, in tissue, in prostate tissue, the testosterone and the dihydrotestosterone levels don't change. Uh, they remain essentially the same as at baseline. So just to reemphasize this point, the expected increase in serum levels of these hormones from the replacement therapy we were administering, but no change in tissue hormone levels. Supporting the chemical data were these tissue measures all done by experts in a blinded fashion. There was no treatment related change in atrophy, that is cell shrinkage, or growth, or inflammation, or cancers as we've shown before, and nor was there any change in cellular composition. We also looked at detailed studies of the tissue biomarkers for cell proliferation, that is how rapidly the cells are turning over. We looked at the androgen receptor, which tells how the hormones bind to the, uh, to the tissue. And we looked at angiogenesis markers, that has to do with small vessel ingrowth, uh, important in uh, malignancy. No change in any of these parameters studied. And very importantly, there were also no significant changes in gene expression. A microarray, a gene microarray, was created from prostate glandular cells, and there was no treatment related change in gene expression seen. We looked at particularly at genes known to be androgen regulated, and four of them are shown here. No treatment effect on androgen regulated genes, and the same was noted for these two cancer related genes. Uh, thus, the genetic studies from this project support the tissue studies uh, and the hormone changes. Uh, no effect uh, in these uh, in these patients.